Welcome to another video. The mission is to find how many four-digit numbers with exclusively odd digits that are divisible by 11. So, there are three conditions. Every number that's going to be in this answer has to be a four-digit number. It has to have odd digits, so no zeros and no even numbers in the digits and the number has to be divisible by 11. So, well, we know we have a bunch of four digit numbers starting from 1000 to 9999, right? However, the key is this. And if you saw the thumbnail, you could see I listed out all the digits and there are 85 of them. So 85 is the answer to this question that was on the Amatich exam sometime in the past, I think 2006 or 2004, I, I can't remember. Uh, and I put that in the community section and uh, a bunch of people got the answers, uh, the answer correctly. Um, the only thing is that the explanation I did not provide because I wanted to make a video. Okay, um, let's get into the video. So the most important thing about numbers that are divisible by 11 is the rule that governs divisibility by 11. So let's just take some examples. Look at the number 22. The number 22 is obviously divisible by 11 and this is the reason. So this is in the first position. This is in the second position. The difference between these two numbers is zero. And zero is a multiple of 11 because you can divide zero by 11 without a remainder. You're going to get zero, right? Okay, so let's look at another popular number, one, two, one. See, this is first, second, third. This is first and third. These are all alternate positions, or you call them odd positions. So if you add one to one, you're going to get two. The difference between two and two is zero. So that's another multiple. So you're going to get, this number is divisible by, by 11. Let's look at one, three, three, one. The odd positions are one and three. If you add these two together, you get four. The even positions are two and four. You add them together, you're gonna get four. The difference between four and four is zero. So, you get that. Let's look at another number. Do you think this number is divisible by 11? So, this is, these are the two odd position numbers. So, 9 plus 2 is 11. This one is just 0. The difference between 0 and 11 is 11. 11 is divisible by 2, so th uh, by 11. So, this number is divisible by 11. Do you see that? Now, if you add anything here, okay, then this number will no longer be divisible by 11 because it's impossible to generate a difference of 11 and so whether you put one or two or three or four, no, you can only put, and you can't put 11 because 11 is not a digit. So the general rule, generally, A, B, C, D is divisible by 11. If A plus C minus B plus D is a multiple of 11, so we can call it 11K, okay? Or we can say it is 0 mod 11. Let's write it as 0 mod 11. What this means is when you divide this result, by 11, the remainder is going to be 0, okay? Because the numbers we're talking about have only odd digits, anytime you do A plus C, this is odd plus odd, you're going to get an even number. Anytime you do B plus D, you're going to get an even number. And the difference between two even numbers has to be even, right? So all our answers on the right-hand side will be either 0 or 22 
or 44, but we know we can get those big numbers because we're just doing four digits. The sum of two single digits cannot be more than 18 if they're odd numbers, okay, right? So, and 18 is not up to 22, so this is the only option we're gonna get. It's always going to be zero. It cannot be 22 when we take the difference between two even numbers. It has to be zero, so it is zero mod 11. In fact, I don't need to write mod 11 anymore. We know that it's gonna be strictly zero. Okay, so I can easily say that A plus C minus B plus D is equal to zero, which means that A plus C will be equal to B plus D for all the 85 digits that we're gonna get. Well, I'm telling you what the answer is. The answer is 85. Okay, now let's begin. Let's start with all the possible even numbers we're gonna get. Remember, you're using digits one, three, five, seven, nine. You can't use any even number and you can't use zero. So, when you add any two even numbers, the smallest you're gonna get is two, right? The smallest even number is two, which means you're doing one and one, right? Okay, so if you wanna get a total of two, well, the only chance you get here is one plus one. There's only one option, one plus one. And the only combination this has is also one plus one. Okay, so just note that because this has one combination, one possibility, if we do two, two will be one plus one for A plus C, right? And that means this is just one option. This implies one option. Because this one two is gonna be one plus one, there's no other way to get two. It's just one plus one, so that's it. Now, let's go to the second even number. Let's go to four. Let's see how many options this one will have. So four can be, remember we're adding odd numbers. It's got to be one plus three. This is an option. Another option we can have is three plus one. Is there another way we can get? No, there's no other way. Remember, we just got two options here, which is what happens if your sum is supposed to be four. And that's just for A plus C. Now, the options for B plus D will also be the same number of options. So what you just do is you just square. So here, it's more like we squared it, but one squared is still one. Here, it's gonna be, this implies two options, which when you square it, which is gonna be, remember this is A plus C. We're gonna do the same thing for B plus D, so it's gonna become two times two, which gives us two squared as the option. Um, combinations, let's call it combinations. Even number, I'll talk less now. So six possible options. I'm gonna write them out actually. Six odd numbers, it's one plus five, would be five plus one. Okay, so this is the maximum number. So this is three, this implies three squared, three squared combo. So this is one, this is four, and this is nine. Let's go to the next one. Eight is gonna be, the possible options are gonna be one plus seven, Okay, let's write it seven plus one, another one. It could be three plus five. It could be five plus three. It's four squared. Okay, let's go to the next one. Um, we can do three plus seven. We can do five plus five. We can do nine plus one. We can do um, seven plus three. That's it, five squared combo. Okay, let's go to 12. How do we do 12? Implies um, four squared combo. Now, if you continue like this, you will notice that the numbers will drop. So the next thing is um, 14 
will be 5. And that's it. There's no other combination. So 14, this implies um, 3 squared combo. So we have 16. 16 will be equal to 7 plus 9. 7 plus 9 and 9 plus 7. So that is 2 squared combo. And then 18 will be equal to 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9. There is no other combination that's going to give you 18 if you're dealing with odd numbers. So this implies 1 squared combo. Okay, that's it. So the total number of combinations that you're going to have for this to be true, we're going to write here. So total will be equal to 9 plus 4 plus 1. And I think this is equal to, let's do the adding. So this is supposed to be 20, 30. This is 30, 60 plus 25, 85. So that's where our answer comes from. This is 85 is the total. That's it. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.